An 11th case of measles has been confirmed in Tarrant County, and health officials expect that number to rise. Almost all of the cases have been traced to members or visitors of the Eagle Mountain International Church in Newark. There are no new cases in Dallas or Denton counties. Fox 4's Natalie Solis talked to the doctor who first recognized the measles outbreak more than two weeks ago. Natalie. Well, Heather, measles is something that is so uncommon in this country. Initially, it wasn't caught. Doctors thought that the person with this first case had scarlet fever. Uh, then Dr. Karen Smith saw a child with symptoms, and it was clear from then on that she was dealing with something rarely seen and highly contagious. I'm thinking, this looks like measles. July 31st, a missionary recently returned from a trip to Asia brings in his eight-year-old son to Healthy Living Faith Clinic at Eagle Mountain International Church in northwest Tarrant County. Dr. Smith had already seen three people with high fevers, including the boy's father. But the boy's case, the turning point. Textbook. I'm so grateful because I'm not an expert. I'm not an infectious disease expert. I try to be a good doctor. I think I thought, oh no, because now I know what all these other people had. The church, part of the Kenneth Copeland Ministries, doing what it can to contain the outbreak. Pastor Terry Pearsons told the congregation about it at a recent service, closed the church daycare, scrubbed the entire campus, and held free vaccination clinics for members. Just, we just heard back about the genotyping of the virus. It is common in Asia for this type of measles, and uh, that's, the type of geno uh, that's the genotype that came back for this particular one, and that fits with the travel. A disease that's still common in Asia, but eradicated from the U.S. with a vaccine. Dr. Smith says she's seen at least 18 cases, more than the health department's official count of 11, since it takes longer to verify results. About half of the cases she's seen are kids. Dr. Smith says of those children, all but one, the 8-year-old, had not received the vaccine. Turns out the 8-year-old and the adults who got measles had only received the initial measles, mumps, and rubella shot. If you only have one dose of MMR, you're not fully protected. And many of the adults in this current outbreak were vaccinated, but they didn't know you needed a booster. Eight of the 11 people infected now recovered. Some good news, but health officials worry about who else those infected may have had contact with before they knew measles was making them sick. If people aren't vaccinated, 90% of them who come within 20 feet of an infected person will get the measles. Wow. It's a bad one. All right, well, measures uh, were taken to contain this virus, but health officials are still concerned with school starting next week. They want to make sure that kids have all the proper vaccines. Uh, they are also alerting school nurses to be on the lookout for symptoms, uh, particularly a high fever and a rash that starts around the head and then spreads down to the rest of the body. Heather? All right, so Natalie, you made a big emphasis on getting the vaccine, but also on making sure to get that booster shot, the second shot. But what if you don't know if you've had the vaccine or the booster? Right. Well, Dr. Smith says go ahead and get the vaccine. If what we learned from this latest outbreak is that those people who did get the measles are uh, primarily the children who were not vaccinated and then the adults who had had the first shot but uh, had not followed up with the booster. So, you know, when in doubt, uh, Dr. Smith says go ahead and just get the vaccine anyway. Heather. All right. Natalie Solis, live for us tonight. Thank you.